Today is a solemn and sad day. They finally finished the debate this morning. Aye. Voting along party lines. No. To approve two articles of impeachment against the president, abuse of power and obstruction of Congress, setting the stage for a full vote in the House next week on the impeachment charges, followed most likely in January by a trial in front of a jury of senators who will render the ultimate verdict. Today, freshman House member Mikey Sherrill said she's been following the hearings and was preparing for a historic vote. I anticipate uh, we will have the articles on the floor uh, probably around Wednesday, so I'm taking this weekend to critically review what's been put out from judiciary to find out if there's any more information, and then I'll be making a decision. Cheryl is considered a yes vote by most observers, though she stopped short of saying that today. But in South Jersey's 2nd Congressional District, Jeff Van Drew has said he will vote no on impeachment. That would be a tough vote for him. On the one hand, he's in a district that supports the president, but he's also a Democrat and is being watched closely by his party. Here's Senate President Steve Sweeney, part of the South Jersey Democratic Political Power Axis, when asked about his support of Van Drew. The congressman has a very important vote coming up, and we'll talk about it after that vote. So you're going to base it on his impeachment vote? I will base it on my own thoughts, but right now I, that impeachment vote's very important. One prospective juror, New Jersey Senator Bob Menendez, called out Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, who said that he'd be in total coordination with the president's lawyers during the Senate trial. At the end of the day, you act as independent jurors. If you have a choreographed process that is meant to determine an ultimate result before you hear the facts, uh, then uh, you make a mockery of the Constitution and you make a mockery uh, of the uh, entire process. A mockery of the entire process is what the president and his supporters have been calling this all along. It's a scam. It's something that shouldn't be allowed. And it's a very bad thing for our country. And you're trivializing impeachment. And I tell you what, someday there'll be a Democrat president, and there'll be a Republican House, and I suspect they're going to remember it. This is a sad day for the country. It's going nowhere in the Senate, but I really hope and pray the Senate will not just pick it up and dismiss it. America needs to hear from the witnesses, and we didn't get to hear from them here. This was a kangaroo court. Public opinion, meanwhile, remains mixed as it has been since the process began. A Monmouth University poll this week found that 45 percent support impeachment with 50 percent against. On whether the president has cooperated with Congress, the overwhelming opinion is that he has not, 61 percent. But more than 40 percent say they have no trust in the way the inquiry has been conducted. I think that there's pretty strong polling evidence that hearings, none of the expert witnesses, really change people's mind. If you went in thinking that Donald Trump was a rascal, you were going to vote to convict him. If you think he was a saint, then you're not. The consensus is that the impeachment effort will pass the House but fail in the Senate. What's less clear is what impact this process will have on the president's reelection bid next year and whether voters will hold their representatives to account for their votes in December in January. In Washington, a year is a very long time.